Hi everybody, welcome back. This is my Neo Stylus Loose Neary with the clone name Blue. And this needs to be addressed. First of all, a little bit of basket cleaning, just the superficial stuff for aesthetic purposes. But there's a fan here that has not performed very well with regards to spikes. Two years in a row, I got very minimal spikes and they were deformed and didn't progress properly from then on. And that repeated itself two years. So two perfect blooms and the rest of the spike, nada. So my plan is to cut that main fan off and then pot that single fan up in my preferred setup with Lekka and self watering. In the meantime, we're going to also have a look at the rhizome. And why am I doing this now? Because new roots are growing. In and amongst all these fans here, I have new roots. So I want to take advantage of that. It's a little bit on the darker side today, but it's a good day. I can, I can film this today because A, it's not as noisy in my neighborhood, and B, the sun isn't at this angle because this is going to stress the plant as it is. So let's have a look. I would like to go down as far as possible and take as many roots along with me without damaging possible growing fans. This is a bit of a discovery. But let's go in here. I have previously steri sterilized these clippers and, um, and will do so again if I need to cut it a second time. So let's see, are you going to come out? Are you going to give? Where are you attached? It is separated. It is now just a question of releasing the fan from the rest of the plant. And if it's gone and grown down, this one is loose. This one is in the medium and if I lift it up the whole plant comes up. So what next? What next? It's never really straightforward is it? It's never really straightforward. Let's see what happens. So the roots, the main fan's roots have grown down into the media. I don't want to lift the whole plant out. So what I can do, see all these little growing tips down there? I don't want to ruin them. But what I can do is cut the roots that are giving me problems. I know this looks radical, but for me it is more necessary to see what's going on with this one fan, because if the plant is infected with something suspicious, and I'm not going to drop the F word here, then I want to know, at least it's not sharing water with any other plant, it never has. Being in this setup, I don't have to share the water. Okay. You just came off, but you weren't doing anything. All right. You know, I actually thought, oh, I'm just going to do a quick clip because snipping a rhizome is not rocket science. It's not going to take a long time. But I did not count on this being stubborn somewhere. 
Is that you? There we go. All right. So I'm going to watch what those roots do in there. They might just die off, which is a shame because they were branching as well. Oh no, that one wasn't branching. The other one that's branching down here, that is still attached to its own fan. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and a sixth one growing there. And I have on this one, two wanting to grow. So it's not like it's a, not a vigorous plant, which is a good thing. What a shame. You see how close I got to this little guy here and I chopped his root off. That's a shame. Bummer. So he's got two fans here and this one is probably not going to make it because it needs to go inside the media. Sorry little one. I'm so sorry. What a shame. Now let's check the rhizome. What is going on? And why are you not giving me beautiful spikes? I don't see anything. Let me check. Right there. I don't see anything. So that's not the problem. Which is a good thing. But you see all these little nubbins here? There's one branching, this one's branching, there's one. That's what I was waiting for before doing this little exercise. So now it's going to just get some cinnamon on it. Oh, I'm really bummed about that little cakey. Okay, this is good. I've got a clump here. This is good because I don't want to get cinnamon on the roots. which I just did, but I will wipe that off. So it's just this little toothbrush and just rinse the cinnamon off. This is now going to be left callus over before I pot it up. Okay, it's going to be in a shady place, left to callus up. Then I'm going to see what these roots do here. Eventually when they wither, I can remove them. I need to get cinnamon on that one cut over there. In this bucket I have some bleach. And, you know, the algae for me, it's just aesthetics. But I will try and get this basket a little bit more pretty looking from the outside. So there's a lot of cinnamon on that cut now. And I hope this doesn't wobble. Whoops, it just wobbled. I'm sorry. I do this maybe twice a year. I'm not that picky to be on it every week. But twice a year, the baskets get a little bit of a makeover just around the side. So, my little Neo Stylus Blue. It wasn't what I thought it was. Still haven't figured out what it is. Oh, let's see. If it does well in the my preferred setup, if that separated fan does well, then it can go to somebody else one day. Meanwhile, I have so many fans on this. I'm okay. None of the other fans on this plant have bloomed. It was always the main one. 
Oh, by the way, I wouldn't obviously I wouldn't give it away if it doesn't do a proper blooming this year, you know? Please don't no no no. We'll see if it can bloom properly this year in the setup. Only then will I consider it giving it away. And that's it. Eh, doesn't look like much, but trust me. It does it will once it dries up. It looks a it will look a lot better. But you see, there's no point doing this so many times. Alrighty, back into the sun you go. So, it's been a couple of days. I wanted to leave this loose neary only a day out of a pot but I had to tide it over by soaking the roots a little bit every once in a while because I did want this to callus over and we have root tips coming here and there's another one here I'm gonna go and check behind the camera if I'm actually in the right angle so let's do this we have a root branching over there we have more branching down here so it's branching in several places which is ideal also the little keikis are now producing their own roots so i'm going to do the potting up right now and then we will monitor its progress. I soaked it in some fungicide as well. Same mixture as I showed you for the Plec Pearl Minfus caudatus. So just as a pre preventative measure, I'm gonna put in my fiber and it's going to go into LECA with self-watering. These microfibers are recycled they have had a soak in bleach before ending up in the washing machine. And then I just leave them in a little tupper with RO water to sit, to leach out any possible detergents or something like that. So very rarely do I need to throw away a microfiber strand that I've cut previously. The other cut is doing absolutely fine. It's like nothing ever happened to it. So I was expecting that, but still, you know, it's not always a fun thing to cut into something and you're thinking, my goodness, why am I doing this? You know why you're doing it. But let's hope it has some positive results. Maybe it'll provoke the other cut as well to actually bloom because for the time being it was only this big cut that had bloom right it's going to get loud we're expecting some rain in the coming days so the weather can't make up its mind at the moment i'm just going to take advantage and film things outside while i can and then have something to work on while it's raining so yes, I'm burying the stem into the leka, but I don't have any other water retentive media in here. I only use the, the, the leka. I'm not using ceramis. And I think we should be okay. As always, just a little bit lower to get the plant situated. If need be, we can always pull the plant up afterwards. Alrighty, there is still some in the gap, there's still a gap over here.
Okay. That's all there is to it. Once again, inorganic media makes life for me so much easier. I know that it is risky on some orchids to get established. I know I've lost many, many orchids. So it's not like I, I would say it's the holy grail of growing orchids. But when it comes to potting up, it really doesn't get any easier. And when it comes to changing a pot as well, it makes it much easier as well. So based on that, one moment. That'll be it. I will be filling it with fertilized water now, 300 ppm, because the roots are fine. I haven't needed to use any hydrogen peroxide. So it will get 300 ppm into the reservoir. And let's see what happens. So thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Fingers crossed we did the right thing. And let's see what this one does bloom wise in the near future. Everybody have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.